he starts talking to the people he's photographing. And what's crazy is that total failure, three years later, became Cubans of New York. Brandon Stan is now one of the most viewed photographers in the world. Millions of people see his photos every day. And three years ago, he was by all accounts a total failure who had no business picking up a camera. And now not only is he making a living from it, he's got a team of a half dozen. He's the number one New York Times bestseller a hundred times over. And he's making so many people's lives better through the art he creates. And he's a photographer. Like, I don't know how that story could have happened if not for the connected web. Certainly not that fast in three years, but like, to have that kind of serendipity you have is just is wonderful. And look, it's one more person, right? My, Lester, Brandon, myself, Alan. These are examples, and they are in many ways outliers, but still, they are one more example of the potential. And that makes me so happy. <laughs> makes me really happy because I want better stuff in the world. And yeah, you know, yeah, the internet. I know what it can do because I've seen it and I continue seeing it help people, but none of it is guaranteed. None of it is for certain because all of the gatekeepers are still there. And all of the democratic communication platforms before the internet have failed to live up to those expectations. Right? And even today, we still have millions of Americans who don't have broadband because they live in rural America. Right? There are millions more who have to take their kids to McDonald's for the free Wi-Fi because they can't afford it. If we believe every American should have a reasonable chance at electricity, shouldn't we believe they all have a reasonable chance at internet? I mean, I think about this. It's as, as much uh, as, as, as much of the optimism that I bring, I still know how tenuous this all is. And we have a chance, though, to make a difference, right? We all can, because this platform happens to be a really powerful one for connecting people with common ideas. And I hope it lives up to its fullest potential, because if it doesn't, it means an even bigger, even bigger gap between those who have the access and can make the most out of it and those who can't. And I want better stuff. I think we all do. And part of that equation, the reason I'm doing this tour is because this work needs to get right off into the pedestal. Because one, I don't speak French, and I don't actually know what it means. But two, I want it to mean having ideas and doing them. Being entrepreneurial is something we're all capable of doing, even if we don't want to be a founder of a company. Right? Having ideas and doing them. This is what is so enabled by the internet, because it is the largest library and stage we've ever seen. What do you want to learn today? YouTube, to put this in perspective, when I graduated, YouTube did not even exist. <laughs> right? Did not even exist. And now, what do you want to learn? Do you want to learn Python? Do you want to learn knitting? Like, there is a do not sleep on the knitting communities. The internet, by the way, are getting amazing. But seriously, like, world class. World class tutorials, lessons, places to show off the stuff you made. Get started doing this stuff now. And you know, also, this map, these books are not to scale, just before you to <laughs> I'm taking this everywhere, all over the country, and our hat to the north of Canada. And I got postcards. You guys all have postcards? Okay, those postcards is very important. You're going to write down your address, and you're going to write down something you want to have accomplished by the time my tour ends and I get back to Brooklyn. Okay, because you're going to write that down, and I'm going to mail it back to you, assuming the postal service is still around. I will mail it back to you. Fingers <laughs> crossed. I will mail it back to you, it's going to show up, and then you're going to see this note from your past self. And it's going to be this thing you want to have accomplished in the next two months. And hopefully, you're going to read it and you'll be like, oh yes. You'll brush your shoulders off and you'll feel great and you'll have another idea and do it. And it could be launching your Etsy store, it could be <laughs> pitching at some, ha uh, some hackathon or some pitch contest. Like, whatever, whatever it is you want to do, write it down, hold yourself accountable, have an idea and do it, have it come to fruition. And then feel great about it and do it again. Because when you get that drug in you, trust me, it will never go away. And now, I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention I'm an ambassador for Y Combinator. It's done so much for me. What can I do to help you all? If you want to apply to be a YC founder, if you want to work or intern at a YC company, there are a bunch right there, probably the best known ones. Email join at my name, alexisohaney.com. It's a little long, and I think the gay onions. <laughs> uh, and drop me a note, let me know. And even if you just want to brag to me about something cool you're working on, tweet it at me. Let me know because every example that I pick up on the road is one more example that I can use when I talk to a, a politician or a journalist or just a dude on the subway about what this generation is doing all over this country. Which brings me to an important point. Right? Innovation is not limited to a zip code. It's not just in Silicon Valley, it is everywhere. And if this premise of an open internet holds, Someone can be sitting in a dorm room anywhere in the world and come up with something 
that can change it. Right? You don't need to open a factory, you just need to open a laptop. And it just so happens, I have someone who was here, who presumably was in this very building. Is that right, Alan? At some point, we're in this literally, literally in this building, all right? And it's gone on to create something that has, in many ways, eclipsed Reddit, the site which he initially started to find that first hundred, that first thousand, which is amazing. That's what the internet's all about, right? Standing on the shoulders of everyone before. So I need you guys to give me an amazingly warm welcome to the one and only Alan Shaw. Come on. Just one 